Hi, hello, and welcome back to more autism, you disgusting virgins. It's me, your ugly dad, Bordick here. And let's waste no time because we're about to get Roy into the... The... Uh, not doing this anymore. So recently, I have made great progress on my channel by making that dank vid about cyberbullying. We officially ended cyberbullying with that one because, as we all know, cyberbullying is very real. And with my last one about making things right, I hopefully convinced every league YouTuber to like me again. But that's still not enough. You see, the reason why I have been making these drastic changes is because I'm paving the way for me to only bake positive league content from now on. And I know you might say, Bordic, you stupid fag, why you do this? Well, I'm not sure if you know that Riot likes to throw around events for content creators every once in a while. They invite most YouTubers that you're probably a fan of already. Hell, they even invited those who haven't made a vid in, what, like a year or so? But someone who they will never let to join in on the fun is none other than me. They only want rated PG-13 League YouTubers, and I don't qualify since my material is too negative. And it sucks because I actually want to go out and meet these autistic cunts. I mean, cool people in person. They basically do the same thing that I do, and who knows, maybe I could learn a thing or two from them. We're all in this together, pimps. So that's why I'm baking this video to announce that I'm only embracing those positive vibes uh, and before I get called the leafy wannabe again. Eventually Riot Senpai will notice me that I've been good and will fly me out to places for free. Okay, so before we dive into that positive league content, what exactly am I trying to do here? Well, when I think of the most liked and respected league YouTuber, on the top of my head I see Spazzy. But obviously I can't go for his type of vid since in most of them he's playing with his Europort friends. And I don't have any of those. I mean, I don't have any friends in general. F my life. Um, who else is a positive league YouTuber? Red Mercy? Oh yes, Red Mercy. Even though I don't like him, let's take a look at his Twitter real fast, just to see what he's up to. How the hell did his Twitter get suspended? Oh, that's right, I forgot he got hacked recently. Red made a video, two videos, talking about her dir I use the same passwords for every website. And man, whoever hacked him were straight up savages because they leaked provocative pics of his GF and conversations that Red Mercy had with other e-girls. The dank memer Young Gooby was able to get this one, and in it, Red says, You bitch, I'm gonna shove my cock up your ass next time I see you, and I won't stop even if you beg and moan. Damn, son, would you take a look at that? That's still no comparison to the ones that I send out. I basically tell every e-girl that I'm gonna murder them if they don't go out on a date with me. It still hasn't worked yet after a year long of trying, and now you see why I have a low self-esteem. And if I remember it right... Red Mercy first exploded in numbers by spamming those Did You Know League Champ video series, where he would read word for word paragraphs from some low wiki page. He's like the Matthew Santoro of the League Communist, goddamn plagiarist. So hell, why don't I do that? Just reading champ lore seems easy and will make my YouTube channel kid friendly, and also Riot will love me. Alright pimps, wish me luck, because I'm about to try out this gay mess, so let's do this. Hey guys, it's me, Gay Mercy here, and today we're talking about Warwick's lore. In case you didn't know, Warwick is a tranny, and he comes from the land where all the trannies are made, which is South Korea. And the good thing about trannies is you can bang them as many times as you want without a condom, and you won't impregnate them. The downside to trannies is they don't have an actual badge. Like, ew, get away from me please. There's so many trannies nowadays, and they don't like it when you call them trannies. So how about we call them synthetic women? And even in the League Communists, we have trannies like Janie. Okay, screw reading champ lore. I noticed that Janie herself gets invited to most of these low events, and I bet her videos should be easier than what Red Mercy does. So let's take a look at her so-called work. So far, all I got is she makes retarded loud monkey noises. Okay, screw Red Mercy. I hope some fat chick catfishes him on Facebook or something. Pimps, I'm about to do what Janie does, so once again, bestow your blessings upon me. Because I'm about to get some severe autism here. My audience probably doesn't know. I can be really shy around new people, but I'm like, I just scream a lot and I'm loud in the videos. <laughs> I don't know how she does it, fuck my life. Well, let me watch her video real fast, I forgot exactly what she does. That was fucking terrible. I can't do that, it's so gay. Fucking, I don't think I could keep doing this positive league content anymore. Positive league content, more like gay league content. Well, you know what's gayer than Janie and Red Mercy combined? 
It's what my African friend Disco he does, which is playing a song during a troll game session like the one that I'm in. It requires no personality, and you don't have to record yourself talking, thus eliminating the suffering that one would go through when you have to listen to yourself. And best of all, your chances of getting copyright striked is through the roof. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for now, so give me a thumbs up. It's only fun if they run.